there's a, obviously um, a lot of attention to this topic of um, as platforms uh, emerge, uh, they often have different business models and uh, how are they engaging um, and have implications for the existing regulatory regimes or do governments need to readjust um, how they regulate? Um, so one issue uh, that I wanted to mention first is um, platform companies, uh, particularly those with content, actually engage in um, controlling where those where that content is delivered on a country by country basis, and this is called uh, geo blocking, which is controlling content distribution. And there's a variety of reasons why uh, they do this. One is uh, to stagger the release of certain products, um, to enforce pricing uh, in different markets, to comply with local censorship laws, so they may not deliver content in certain countries uh, as a consequence, um, to honor territorial licensing arrangements. So often platforms host third-party content, and those third parties um, may only agree to host that if um, certain countries are restricted and then to avoid malicious traffic you know, from high-risk countries. So you might block certain countries just because they're uh, problematic from maintaining the integrity of your um, IT systems, etc. So, you know, an interesting question here is, is what role does, or if any, does the, uh, does the government have in um, these uh, content um, management? And so right now there's an initiative in Europe around the single digital market, and they've actually been trying to reduce the amount of geo-blocking to create a more common market across Europe. So the incentive there is to help grow their local companies to achieve greater scale. You know, and as I mentioned earlier in this presentation, scaling is a critical element of platform companies. And so regulations that hurt the ability to scale can um, hurt the growth of platform companies. And by you know, contrast, if you allow for a larger market and remove some of those uh, restrictions, they can grow and scale and uh, compete more effectively as a consequence. So this is an interesting area of regulation and then thinking about what is the right role for government. Another is uh, regulatory hurdles. And this has been in the news quite a bit. This is an example of countries that have imposed uh, restrictions on Uber, uh, comparing North America versus Europe. And you can see that uh, the number of red dots is where Uber has been uh, banned. So there's an active process right now around uh, how Uber can ensure uh, market access uh, where it is and maintain that market access and then also to grow its business in areas where it may be uh, restricted and uber is is not the only company obviously there's many other platform companies that face similar uh, situations so this issue of market access i think is going to become increasingly important as these platform companies seek to grow in uh, more markets and then uh, finally, we also have um, restrictions. You know, platform companies, uh, data is, is their lifeblood uh, and the ability to move data from country to country. And so another area of concern are what we call data residency rules, where countries may impose restrictions on cross-border transfers of data. And so how this will play out and this one is a uh, particular concern because the international rules that govern uh, trade are pretty much silent on um, trade in data. So the international trade rules are really focused on trade in goods and to some degree trade in services, um, but pure trade in data um, has not received. So we may see uh, increasing attention to this area as these platform companies grow and become more important. 